Hey, it's Ryan with Easy Storage, and I'm going to do a quick demo of our access control integration. So first, let's go reports and then all reports. We're going to click on this report in the top right. So this access code report shows all of your customers in your software, uh, and it also shows if they have a code or if they have a unit rented as well. So if you need to add any codes for yourself or maintenance, anything like that, uh, you just have to create an account, uh, just has to basically have the name. So once you have your account created, you're going to want to go to gate access, type in your code here, hit save access code. And you're going to want to assign the code to a gate group. So the gate groups are what tell the software when the tenant is allowed access and what keypads they're allowed access to. So if you manually add a code, you want to manually add them to a group as well. So let's go to setup and gate. So you can see on this page, you have your gate activity log. Um, you have your search bar here you can search by different dates different customers um, underneath that you have your gate access control so this is where you can actually open and close your gate or your doors uh, through your software so on a gate uh, you hit open it's going to stay open until you hit close once you click close it's going to release that open command and the gate's going to close after the timer on the gate operator clicks down to zero so open will be pretty instant, close is going to take a little bit of time. And then you have your gate groups down here, um, so you can set up different groups with different hours of access. So you can have a renter's group with, say, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can have all of your tenants assigned to that group, and then you can give yourself 24-hour access or any of your, your staff or maintenance or anything like that, 24-hour access. So next, let's go to uh, setup and late slash lean. So this second status here, the locked out status, that's what your gate software is going to go off of. So right now, this one's set up to 10 days past due. So as soon as anyone hits that 10th day, it's going to automatically lock them out. Um, they can log in and pay from their end, or you can make the payment from your end, and it'll on automatically unlock them. So you can just change the setting in here if, if you need to adjust how many days pass due. And then let's go to email, text, and print, and templates. And then we're going to look at this rental instructions template. So this template sends out right after a customer rents a unit on your website. So this is the first place that they'll get their gate code. So you can see here it says access code customer access code pound please enter your code and then press pound so this placeholder is going to pull their code from their account um, and this is all you can change any of this uh, however you'd like so you can change the wording on it um, and you can also enable a text that will send out and give them their code So other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can give us an email or you can call us. Uh, you can email me directly. My, my email is ryan, R-Y-A-N, at storageunitsoftware.com. And you can call our access control department at 435-250-4522. Talk to you later.